Hello everyone, I am the Play Gamer 3. This is Star Wars Rogue Squadron for Nintendo 64. Star Wars Rogue Squadron is a arcade style action game co-developed by Factor 5 and LucasArts. This is the first game in the Star Wars Rogue Squadron series. The game was released in December 1998. Um, this game takes advantage of the Nintendo 64 expansion pack that allows you to play the game in high resolution. Okay, let's redo this so you guys can hear the dialogue. Take an early morning run over Moss Eisley with Wedge Antilles, but keep your eyes open for any suspicious activity. Yeah, this game does have full voice acting. Okay, so this is the first level of the game. Okay, so while this is playing. This game is set in the fictional Star Wars Galaxy and is inspired by the Star Wars X-Wing Road Squadron comic book. The game takes place primarily between the events in Star Wars and The Empire Strikes Back. Um, in the game you control Luke Skywalker, the commander of the X-Wing Road Squadron team. The game's first 15 levels occur six months after the Battle of Yavin, as depicted in Star Wars Episode 4, A New Hope, and before the events of Star Wars Episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back. So a short synopsis, as the Empire gathers strength for an all-out assault on the Rebel forces, Luke Skywalker and Wedge Artilles form Rogue Squadron. A group comprising of 12 of the most skilled X-Wing pilots from Rebel Alliance. The game's 16th and final levels of the game takes place during Dark Empire, six years after Star Wars Episode 6 Return of Jedi's Battle of Endor. The Rebel Alliance has established the New Republic which now controls three quarters of the galaxy. After the deaths of Emperor Palpatine and Dark Vader, the Galactic Empire collapses but has been reborn under a mysterious new leader, um, which is supposed to be a clone of Emperor Palpatine. Um, Rogue Squadron is now under the command of Wedge Artilles who continues to fight the Empire to protect the, new, the newly reformed Republic. I'm talking over dialogue again. Luke, I think we've got a problem. Is that my imagination or are those Imperial probes are dead ahead? They're attacking them? Okay, so Star Wars Rogue Squadron is all about air-to-air -air space combat. So each level has different objectives that you have to complete in order to progress through the level. Um, the objectives are divided into four categories. Search and destroy, reconnaissance, rescue, and protect. So in this level you just have to destroy all of the drones. The levels in this game bonus you can find, but you have to look through the levels in order to find them. Okay, a couple more drones left. Oh, that sound you heard, that's um, me locking on 
that's your missile um, lock-on system so I got six missiles but you don't need the missiles with these drones TIE Fighters. Yeah, so this first level is easy. Later levels, they get more complex. Um, some levels have you, you have to um, intervene. So if the TIE Fighters um, are attacking a city, if you wait too long, the game will be over. Or if you have to protect um, like a caravan if you let the caravan get destroyed it's game over so you know the game can get quite challenging during the later levels I mean there's no save so you have to complete the, the whole level and all the objectives And I got a bronze. So on each level you can get a bronze, silver, or gold. Let me see. Okay, so my accuracy was down. So that's why I didn't, I didn't get a silver medal. Okay, so that's enough of my commentary. Um, I'm going to play through three more levels of the game. So hope you enjoy it. And I'll see you the next video equipment and supplies vital to the rebellion. Your mission is to rendezvous with that convoy and escort it to the landing zone. Good luck. Luke, we've already got some throw through it. Take your targets and go. Good shooting. vehicles have begun moving, their escort will follow shortly. The smaller craft are the combat vehicles. Take with the five transports. with the supply vehicle. Good shooting. 
Commander, this is Riken. It's imperative you stay with the supply vehicles. Watch for enemy fighters. Shuttle is clear. She'll pick up the rest of this cargo. The Rebel Alliance will appreciate those supplies, especially after we lost Yavin Base. against time to recover the crew and cargo of a downed rebel ship before the Imperials beat you to it.
Smoked Squadron, this is General Riken. A rebel ship called the Nona recently crashed somewhere in this vicinity. It was carrying a team of rebel soldiers and stolen Imperial equipment. You must find them before the Imperials do. I'm picking up multiple signals. Ties and coming in fast. <laughs> We have to keep searching for the Nona. Right with you, boss. Stay low. They think they will get it. You know, we still don't until our shuttle can pick them up. Pick up those tanks. Thank <laughs> you. 
Get your squadron out of there. Imperial officer Crix Maydeen wishes to join the Rebel Alliance, but the Empire will do anything to stop him. Protect Corellia from destruction as Maydeen makes good his escape. Walker, go ahead. I've received word an Imperial officer, Crix Maydeen, wants to defect. Apparently he has a lot of information on the Empire's military ground operation. I'm going to contact him after my meeting with the city officials in the Capitol Tower. Keep your eyes open for any sign of trouble. Form up. Picking up something strange on my scope. I copy. Increase speed, full throttle. Right with you, boss. Let's <laughs> go. 
taking the city. Road group. Those bombers are heading straight for it. There are lots of innocent people in here. Give you a hand. This is my hometown after all. Maintain visual scanning. We spotted an Imperial Walker on approach to the Capitol Tower. <laughs> Sir, we found some advanced proton torpedoes. Thank <laughs> you. 
got trouble over here. They just dropped a pair of scout walkers outside my building. Long enough. We evacuated everyone just in time, thanks to Captain Solo and Chewbacca. Ah, that was never my favorite building anyway. Oh. 